Today, we will go over what the heel sacs lesion and reverse heel sacs lesions are, as this is something you are bound to hear talked about in clinic, read in diagnostic reports, or may even find yourself being asked about while on rounds. To start, the most common way a shoulder is dislocated is anteriorly, with posterior dislocations being seen more commonly in patients who experience seizures or electrocutions, but understand that anterior dislocations are the most common. When the shoulder is dislocated anteriorly, the posterior aspect of the humeral head can be impacted by the glenoid of the scapula, leading to an indentation fracture. This is the so-called hill sacs lesion, which you see here. You can think of the reverse hill sacs lesion, or otherwise known as the McLaughlin lesion, as the opposite in which you have a posterior dislocation of the shoulder, which again is less common. With the posterior dislocation, there may be impaction of the anterior aspect of the humeral head into the glenoid, leading to the reverse hill sacs lesion. Thus, knowing where the lesion is located on the humeral head in terms of anterior or posterior, that is easier to understand when you just think about the mechanics surrounding the shoulder dislocations. Alrighty, I hope this helps you on rotations and I will see you in the next one.